Hi you all, welcome to Jackie Blue and welcome again to my channel. Today I have a very informative video and I suppose I use it as clickbait. I use it, name my video coach disappointments. So I want to talk about my coach bag and actually it's not against the coach company. It's something that happened and I experienced and I wanted to pass it all on with you because I think it's a very important video and I wanted to share my experience with you on my coach bag. If you follow me, you know I got a coach bag for my birthday and so this is the bag I'm talking about. So we'll get started on this video but first of all i wanted to welcome all you people to my channel i wanted to thank my old subbies my new subbies anyone who's supporting and watching me i love you all and i appreciate it and if you're new today to my channel i want to welcome you and please encourage you to comment like and subscribe ask me any questions i'll answer um, scroll on down and look at some of my other videos and see if there's anything you're interested in and just come on down and spend some time at my channel and become one of my baby chickadees and become part of my YouTube family. So let's get started in our video. So if you've been following me, you know I got a coach bag for my birthday. I got it at the factory store, but it was still over $200 and I will show you my bag and I'm going to talk about my experience with it. This is my coach bag and I think I, it's a it's all leather. It's called chalk white. So it's, it's kind of like an off white and uh, I got it for my birthday and I knew it was white and I knew it, you know, it was a light color and I needed to take care of it. So, you know, I was taking really good care of it. I was enjoying it. I thought it was so pretty and I was going to use this bag into fall because white is still in style nowadays, you know, into fall and winter. And, you know, I was washing it every time I got a smudge on it. I wasn't throwing it around. I wouldn't like put it on the floor, even in the car. Or, you know, if we went out to eat, I put it on a chair. It was kind of like my little baby because I was so excited. Um, I don't usually spend a lot of money on things, so it was kind of a treat for me. And yeah, so one day I was taking it shopping and I was wearing a denim jacket. This is the culprit. <laughs> this is the denim jacket I was wearing and I, I love this den denim jacket. I featured it in some videos. The dark indigo, indigo blue, I've had it for a while. So I was wearing it and as we were walking around, I noticed that my bag was getting marks on it, like dark blue stains. And I thought, I know I didn't have that, you know, when I left that day. And the more and more I thought of it, I thought my denim jacket must be the culprit, but I wasn't sure. And um, as I was walking around, it was getting worse and worse because I had it over my shoulder. And I've never had trouble with this denim jacket fading on anything else, like any sh clothing or anything that I've had. So I... I figured it out that the denim was like rubbing onto my purse and staining it. So I thought, oh no. So then I, I remember that you could wash leather off with soap and water. So I went into the bathroom and I got some paper towels and I, you know, started rubbing frantically and working on it and it really wasn't coming off. And I was just like, oh, I was just like sick because, you know, that's a lot of money for me. And my husband was so cute. He goes, oh, don't worry about it. We'll get you another one. But I mean, I just didn't want to spend the money again. And I just, it just was making me feel really bad that, you know, I got this purse and july 29th and already it was kind of ruined and looked really bad and i was hoping i could enjoy it a few years before it would start getting worn so so i decided to call the coach store and as i was talking to her i said oh i got some you know marks on my purse nothing's taking it off do you have any suggestions and the first thing she said is you know some denims will fade on there the indigo denim and they're stained and it's permanent and i thought oh no and she said there's nothing we can do about it well i figured that because it's not really their fault but I said, do you have any suggestions? And she said, maybe the magic erase, but be very careful with that because, you know, that can wreck the leather too if you go too hard on it. So, you know, I thought, oh, I bet it's ruined and I was really disappointed. So uh, when I got home, I decided to look online and I found several home remedies, things I had in the house that you could try. One was toothpaste, one was baking soda, but nothing really worked and I was so disappointed and I was scrubbing I mean it was fading a little bit and that's even what the lady said of course you'll get it to fade but you won't get it to go completely so you know I was just really disappointed and then all of a sudden I saw it online that to use facial wipes as long as it's alcohol free so I got these and it worked <laughs> so there's a happy ending to my story <laughs> So the Neutrogena wipes took the stains off. I wish I had before and after pictures, but I don't. 
Looks like brand new, so I'm a happy camper and I'll be enjoying my white bag for a while. I won't be wearing it with my denim jacket. Also online, it said that sometimes if you wash your jacket, I put some vinegar in it, so I did wash it but I'm still not gonna ch chance it again. And online it said that people have had this problem, like had parties with a tan or leather or a vinyl white furniture or couch and it was stained and it's happened in in cars too. If you have that, and I'm surprised it never rubbed off on our leather seats in my camera. I have light gray leather seats and it never rubbed off on that, but I'm gonna be careful now. So I called the coach store and I told him what I use and how it works. So I passed that on to them and she said thank you and everything. So I just thought this was a really important video and I wanted to pass it along for you all and I wanted to caution you. I know that the white leather booties are in style now and I imagine that could happen with a, a denim pair of jeans you're wearing too. Now when I called the coach company she said the denim fabrics are supposed to be treated so it won't do that but it still gets by because we get the denim things from other countries and most of your denim probably won't do that but there's always pants and it's usually the dark indigo blue denim so that's just a caution for you all. You have to be careful with white I mean it's so beautiful but you do have to baby white so I'm glad I got this white purse but I uh, I'll be careful with it and it's just a lesson I wanted to pass on you know if you want white it's beautiful but you have to be careful with it and especially with denim and I was just happy that I had a happy ending and I got it to come clean so I wanted to um, pass that video on to you all um, I hope you're having a beautiful day I hope you're staying healthy and happy I want you to know you're all beautiful and I will be you know putting up some more videos I'm going to do a lookbook with denim jacket a collab with mutton style and that'll be going up the end of the week and I'm going to be getting up some more videos. Please follow me on Instagram. I got my Instagram. It's Jackie Blue Beauty Tips is my Instagram. So it's real easy. And you can follow me there. We can get to know each other better too. So, so that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you had any trouble with your denim ever fading on anything please comment below I'd like to hear your stories and if you had um, trouble or what you used if you ever got it clean or if you haven't go out and get those wipes and try it <laughs> so um, yeah so that's my video today so um, like I always say the smile is the best beauty tip if you're happy on the inside it will show on the outside so thank you for joining me and I will see you in my next video love you all Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.